The cats are having canned cat food for breakfast today, so I thought I would film a comparison video that compares all of these different varieties of the wholehearted canned cat food from Petco. These are all turkey recipe. The one in the bottom is turkey recipe pate in gravy for adult cats. On top of that is turkey recipe in gravy for kittens. That is pleasing pate. And on top of that is turkey recipe in gravy masterfully minced. On top of that is turkey recipe in gravy mouth-watering morsels. And on the very top is turkey with veggies recipe mouth-watering morsels. So these are the five different varieties of the wholehearted canned cat food. And these are all of the different varieties of their turkey recipe. The first thing that I always do before buying cat food is read the ingredients. So this is the pate and gravy. And we're going to focus on the first five ingredients. The first five ingredients are turkey broth, turkey, chicken, dried egg product, and tapioca starch. This is the pleasing pate for kittens. Let's take a look at the first five ingredients. They are turkey broth, turkey, chicken, dried egg product, and pea protein. So that's interesting. They're putting additional plant-based protein in this kitten pate. Let's continue looking at other varieties. This is the masterfully minced turkey recipe and gravy. And the first five ingredients in this are turkey broth, turkey, water sufficient for processing. So that's the first time we're seeing water showing up in the first five ingredients and it's number three, followed by chicken, followed by sunflower oil. And looking through the rest of the ingredients, this also does not have any pea protein in it. Not that pea protein is necessarily a bad thing. We're just comparing all of these different varieties. So this variety definitely has more water in it because the first ingredient is turkey broth, which is water. Basically, it's water that turkey has been cooked in. And then there's water as the third ingredient also. And sunflower oil is number five. And these are the mouth-watering morsels. The first five ingredients are turkey broth, turkey, dried egg product, tapioca starch, and pea protein. So that's interesting. Dried egg product moves up to number three. Dried egg product is usually a binder. Tapioca starch, another binder, gives it a certain texture. And pea protein, again, there's that pea protein. More plant-based protein. So this one has more dried egg product than the pate, more tapioca starch than the pate, and more pea protein than the pate. Does the pate even have pea protein? So here's the pate. It's turkey broth, turkey, chicken, dried egg product, tapioca starch, turkey powder, salt, sunflower oil, calcium, calcium sulfate, sodium tripolyphosphate, potassium chloride, guar gum, locust bean gum, taurine, fish oil, celery powder, vitamin E supplement, zinc oxide, reduced iron, so then we're going into vitamins and minerals, and no, there's no pea protein at all in the pate. And then finally, we have the mouth-watering morsels turkey with veggies recipe. And if we take a look at the first five ingredients here, they are turkey broth, turkey, dried egg product, tapioca starch, and carrots. Look at that. Carrots makes an appearance at number five. And then that's followed by peas, pea protein, and then we go into all of the vitamins and minerals. So if we look at the ingredients in the turkey mouthwatering morsels and compare that to the turkey and veggies mouthwatering morsels, we can see that they're the same. The only difference is the turkey has pea protein as the fifth ingredient and the turkey and veggies has pea protein as the seventh ingredient and carrots and peas come in as number five and number six. So for the veggies, some carrots and peas are added. Some of the vitamins and minerals might be in a different order. I'm not going into that much detail with the comparison. We're just basically focusing on the first five ingredients or so. So now let's open these cans and let's see what they look like inside. So this is the turkey recipe pate in gravy. Now I am surrounded by four hungry cats, so hopefully they will not stick their nose in here. And this is what the pate and gravy looks like. It is a really dense pate. I always feel like I'm getting a really good amount of food for my money. 
uh, when I open a can of this pate for the cats. And I do mix in a little bit of additional water, um, but the cats really like this one. It smells really good. Stella has her nose a few inches from this. She's right off the camera and um, yeah, so that's the pate. Now let's take a look at the kitten pate. This is what the kitten pate on the right looks like in comparison to the regular pate on the left. It looks a little bit different because of the added pea protein. There also might be a different mix of vitamins and minerals added to this. So the regular pate on the left has turkey powder in it. And the one on the right looks like it has a little bit more oil in there. And other than that, it is a slightly different mix of vitamins and minerals. So that's the difference between the pâtés. And then this is the masterfully minced. This is the variety with water as the third ingredient. So we could expect this to be much more watery. And that's what this one looks like. This one has a whole lot of liquid in it. The cats do enjoy this one also. Um, it's just very different for them. It has these small little bits of turkey in it, and as you can see, it is really, really liquidy. I always feel like this is not as good of a deal because there's not as much actual food in it, but it is really full of liquid, so if your cat doesn't drink enough water, this is a really great option for your cat. But because I usually mix water into the food when I give it to the cats, I don't really uh, care about how much liquid is in the food and this is a food that I don't mix additional water into but it is nice to have a variety so here you could see the difference between the pate which is really thick and dense and then this uh, masterfully minced food which is just really loose and has a whole lot of water and it is good to give your cat some variety so I do understand well why there's different sorry guys the cats are trying to eat the food and I'm trying to make a video Next we have the mouth-watering morsels and this is the variety that has more egg product and more tapioca starch than the pate. So to me this food is going to be more similar to maybe like uh, shreds or something like that. So this is what the mouth-watering morsels look like. When we compare it to the pate you can see that it's a lot looser. It's chunkier, there's more liquid in it. And when we compare it to the minced variety, you can see there's less liquid than the minced food. Um, and it looks like there's more actual meat in here. And then finally, this is the turkey with veggies recipe, the mouth-watering morsels. So this should look very similar to the morsels we just looked at, but we should just see some peas and carrots in it. And this is what it looks like. Obviously, it looks prettier with some peas and carrots in it, but that's just because we have human eyes. Our eyes like to see stuff like that. And here's the difference. So we have the turkey recipe morsels on the right, and we have the turkey recipe with veggies on the left. So you're actually getting a little bit less meat when you get the variety with the veggies. Some cats like veggies. Some people like feeding the veggies to cats. I do like the cats to eat some plant matter. I know how much they love eating cat grass. And I know when they lived outside, I would often see them chewing on grass and leaves and plants. So I know in nature, cats do like to eat some plant matter. Since they are obligate carnivores, it should not be a large portion of their diet. But for about 5% of their diet, I think it helps mimic their diet in nature. Would they necessarily be eating peas and carrots? No. Uh, they would be eating leafy greens. So I do wish the cat food companies would think more like a natural cat and add some leafy greens instead of peas and carrots, which, you know, looks cute for humans. So here we have all five cans for a full comparison. This is the regular pate. This is the kitten pate. These are the mouth-watering morsels. These are the mouth-watering morsels with veggies. And then this is the masterfully minced food. So it's kind of in order from most dense 
too less dense. I feel like with the pate, you get the best value for your money. It's a really dense food. I do mix water into it. And one can will feed all four of these cats one meal. So that's really helpful. Obviously, the kitten pate is great if you are taking care of kittens or if you want to give some additional nutrients to uh or if you want to give some additional nutrients to a cat. Some cats have texture issues, so it is nice to have different textures of cat foods available for cats. So we have the mouth-watering morsels for cats that really aren't fans of pate or for cats that like chunkier meals. This has bigger chunks of meat than the pate does. And then there's the version with veggies that also has some peas and carrots added to the recipe. It does appear that there's a little bit less meat in this one. Honestly, if you wanted to add some cooked peas and carrots to your cat's food, you could always do that just by buying some frozen peas and carrots and cooking them, steaming them, for example, and then mixing some in. I don't know any cats that really go crazy for that the way that cats go crazy for cat grass, for example. Um, but that's another option. If you want to get some plant matter into your cat's food, you could always grow them some cat grass and then chop it up and mix that into their food. I know I've done that for the cats in the past, but I do like to just make sure that they have fresh cat grass and they munch on that before they eat. It's almost like a salad or an appetizer for them. And then finally, there is the masterfully minced canned food, which is really watery. There's a lot of gravy in that one. Uh, and that would be great if your cat has issues with not drinking enough water, not getting enough liquid. It is very, very important for cats to get enough liquid. It's really important for their kidney health. So the masterfully minced is a good option for that. And so there you have it. These are the five different varieties of the wholehearted canned cat food that are available in stores. And this is a review of the differences between them. This is what the four different varieties look like on a plate. So on top here we have the pate. These are the mouth-watering morsels. These are the mouth-watering morsels with veggies. And then this is the masterfully minced. You can clearly see the different texture of the food. I have not added any additional water to any of this food. I'm just going to feed it to the cats as it is. And let's see which varieties they like, which they eat first, and if they leave anything on their plates. So I put each plate positioned so that the masterfully minced is directly in front of the cats and Stella has gone for that right away. Boo is going for the morsels and Simba is actually going for the morsels with veggies. Now he's eating the other morsels, now he's going back to the morsels with veggies and now Stella is eating splashes. I'm going to pick that up and give that to him. You eat yours, Stella. Now Stella is eating some pate and Boo is eating his masterfully minced and Simba keeps going to the veggies. They hear something outside. Any, any little noise. Now the phone's ringing great. Stella is working on the pate and Simba's going to go for her veggies. Simba says, I want your veggies. Boo wants to eat on the steps. Simba really likes the ones with the veggies. That's interesting. Here. And Splash is not eating his. He's just sitting next to it. Boo's now eating on the steps. He's going for the masterfully minced. The one with the liquid. Boo loves licking up gravy. Simba wants to move over here to the rug to eat his food. Now he's nibbling on the pate. Nope, he's going to the morsels. Now all the pate is finished on Stella's plate. She's walking away from it and she's going to go check out Splash's plate. Okay, Simba's still working on the morsels. He ate some of the pate, but he really liked the, um, he really liked the one with the veggies, although he left the veggies on the plate so far. He's going to check out Stella's. Look, he's going to the one with the veggies. Look at that. Now he's going to the one without the veggies. And Boo is eating the morsels. He finished the minced, or most of the minced he finished, and now he's eating the morsels. Boo 
Now he's going to the other morsels with the veggies in them. And Stella's going after their pate. <laughs> She's eating Splash's pate. Boo's finished his minced, and he's working on the morsels. So this is Splash's plate, and Stella ate all the pate. This is Simba's plate, and Stella's going after the pate on Simba's plate also. Stella says she's a queen, and queens should only eat pate. Who's working on the morsels with the veggies? Now he's working on the pate. Stella has gone back to her original plate, and now she's eating the minced. And Boo is really eating the pate. This is what's left on Simba's plate. So he ate most of the morsels with veggies. He ate some of the regular morsels. He ate some of the pate, or Stella did, and he left the minced. So I'm going to pick this up, and I'll give it to him or Splash later, because neither of them are eating. This is Splash's plate, so all the pate is gone because Stella ate it. And sometimes Splash does not like to eat new food because of whatever reason. So Stella's trying to eat it. I'm going to pick this up for Splash. This is what's left on Stella's plate. So Stella definitely prefers the pate, but she is very happy tasting and eating the other food. She just doesn't like it as much as the pate. She ate all of Splash's pate. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push everything to the center of the plate. And then she'll most likely go back and eat it. It's almost like a casserole at this point. See? This is Boo's plate, so he really enjoyed the liquidy minced. He ate most of the morsels. He left two peas, and he ate most of the pate. So Boo just really likes canned food in general. I just did the same thing for Boo. I scraped all his food to the middle of the plate, and now he's going to eat it. Splash is now eating his food. He's going for the minced. He's going to taste the morsels. He's super cautious. Splash is not the biggest fan of canned food. He loves raw food. Out of all the cats, he's always like the first to finish his meal when it's raw. I think he's thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. This is the kitten pate, and this is what I'm going to give to Hijox today. It would be good for him to get some extra nutrition. This is the little bowl or the little pot that I use to mix up his food. So what I normally do when feeding pate, see how thick and dense this is, which is great um, because it's a really good value for your money. It's better to buy thick, dense food and then add your own liquid than buying food that is like all liquidy. So that's what it looks like chopped up, but I am going to add some water to it. I just added some water to it. I don't measure, but I would say maybe um, a quarter of a cup. And do you see how nicely the food absorbs the water? I do try to break up a lot of the chunks for him because he does have some issues going on with his mouth. And here you can see the difference between the pate uh, as it is in the can and then how it looks after I've mixed water into it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.